There are two types of controls in video games, tank and analog. Analog movement moves the character relative to the screen. It's pretty intuitive. Up is up, down is down, left and right move you from side to side. Tank controls, on the other hand, are relative to the character. Regardless of the camera angle, up is forward, down is reverse, left and right are for rotating. Meaning that whichever way the character is facing, up will always be forward. It's pretty intuitive in first person games. But the reason why games like Resident Evil 1 and 2 are a bit tricky is because not only are they in third person, but you can't move the camera. The cameras are fixed. The only time it moves is if you move to a certain area. And it's less of a pen, it's more like a cut. Later on with the release of the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox, the controllers came with two joysticks. This one moves the character, while that one moves the camera. Most games quickly adopted this method because it was easy to learn and easy to program, and it made your games look more futuristic. Tank controls and fixed camera angles, they seemed more like a rel an outdated relic of the past. So, in no time, this new technique quickly became the industry standard, and it is still being used to this day. So let's get back to with Resident Evil 2. The first time I tried playing Resident Evil, I tried pressing down, thinking that I would go this way. However, because I was facing like this, I went in reverse and I walked into the fire. After a few hits, I was then eaten by zombies and this game showed no mercy.